So pro tip, if you come to Seattle, the best view of the city is from the ferry. Good morning, I'm back in the city my city. I'm back in Seattle just for a couple of days. For those of you who don't know, we temporarily moved out of the city back in the spring to ride out this. And when we left, we had obviously no idea how long we would end up being gone. We thought it was going to be like six weeks. So we left all of our stuff here, like everything we own is in Seattle. I had an office space here that I left. Like we just dropped everything and moved out of the city. So I thought while I'm here, I would take you guys around with me and do a little Seattle vlog. I'm really excited to just soak in the city a little bit and that Puget Sound view and hit up some of my favorite food spots. And of course, some rain. It's a very rainy day. You can see the raindrops on the window. Typical Seattle. I thought I'd come take a walk down by the waterfront and through the market. It is so windy and cold. I feel like I need a jacket three times heavier than this one. It is so noisy down here. They're like reconstructing the city right now. Oh my gosh, this audio is gonna be terrible, isn't it? Is it stopped? It is so cold and windy and I feel like I under layered today. It is frigid. I'm down in Pioneer Square and there are a lot of businesses that have boarded up their windows and artists have come down here and painted them all and it's actually really, really beautiful. This is one of the things I missed the most about Seattle. Something that Seattle did to me in my six years of living here that I never expected would happen is it turned me into a coffee snob. Nowhere does coffee like Seattle, Washington. And the amazing thing about Seattle is every coffee shop is good. Every coffee shop is gonna be a 10 out of 10 coffee. They have to be to stay in business here. Something else I have missed so much is the chocolate chip banana bread from Cherry Street. If you're ever in in Seattle, you have to go to one of the Cherry Street locations. I think they have like eight, maybe. It's a local chain. And their chocolate chip banana bread is like the best thing I've ever eaten. Oh my God. What do they do with this? This is so good. So now I've made it to this really cool loft space in Pioneer Square. I'm gonna be getting some work done, taking some photos, doing some product photography for some upcoming stuff I'm working on. Something that is incredibly annoying about Bluetooth headphones is they actually don't work very well for video editing. There's just enough of a lag in the audio that when I use the Bluetooth, my cuts end up all being slightly off. So I have to carry this cord around with me to like manually attach my headphones to my computer, but it just completely defeats the purpose of going out and buying like nice Bluetooth headphones for editing, which is what I bought them for. I wanna say thank you to Logitech for sponsoring today's video. I've been using their MX Anywhere 3 mouse recently. And I have to say, before I started using this mouse, I thought all computer mice, Mouses? Ma ma mouses? Mice? What is the plural of computer mouse? The plural for a computer mouse is either mice or mouses. I used to think that there wasn't really much that went into a mouse. I always bought the cheapest ones. Then I started using this one. Their MX series is their peak performance series. And this thing will track on any surface, even on glass. It also works on fabric, so you can use it like on your couch, on your bed. My current go-to setup at home is, my dad has one of those old, aesthetically unpleasing recliners, and this mouse tracks perfectly on the arm of the recliner, so I can just kick back like this and use the mouse over on the side. It will quick charge, and one minute of quick charging will give you three hours of battery life. It also has this steel mag speed wheel that is so tactile and pleasing to use. You can also connect it to three different devices and toggle between them just by tapping the button on the back. I'll have a link to this down in the description. And yeah, if you're doing a lot of computer work and you want something on the go or at home that will work on any surface, 
definitely check it out. Okay, I got all my photos taken, I think. It has turned out to be the sunniest day, so I'm gonna go ahead back to the water to watch the sunset over the water this evening. Well, the sun is now down, I picked up some takeout. It has been a long time since I've had good sushi because you don't find a lot of sushi outside of Seattle and Washington. So that is what I got tonight. I've made it out to Bainbridge Island this morning. One of my favorite things to do is to catch the ferry to Bainbridge because it's good any time of year. It's nice if it's rainy and gloomy. It's nice if it's sunny. The views are just incredible. And depending on the time of year, you can spot whales on the ride. And like I said, it's just the best view of the city and the skyline. If you wanna take photos, it's the place to do it. And it's only like a 25 minute ride one way to get out here. So it's pretty easy to do like an afternoon trip. And there are lots of little shops and restaurants out here. Like a really fun thing to do in the summer is hop the ferry to Bainbridge, go to like the creperie out here or the ice cream shop, get some ice cream, walk around and then ride the ferry back. It is interesting being back here that I'm reminded of the things I love and the things I really didn't love about living in Seattle. Like how annoying it is to try and park anywhere and how horrible the parking garages are. They're so tiny. And there's construction everywhere and it's noisy and everything is so expensive. Like just getting a sandwich somewhere is $15. However, I do miss the view of the Puget Sound. I will never get tired of looking over the Puget Sound. It's one of my favorite views in the entire world. And the smell of the air, that like salty sea air. So today I'm actually driving further west out to the Olympic Peninsula to do some camping on the beach. And I'm going to be filming a video of that experience as well. However, I think that that video is going to go up before this one does. My schedule is so jumbled right now and I have so many videos I've been shooting that are like backlogged and I think they're all gonna go up out of order. So by the time you see this one, this next video will probably already have been posted. I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed tagging along with me and seeing some sights of Seattle and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.